I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're gonna focus on supported operating systems. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. This video is gonna be dedicated to supported operating systems. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first put up a list of the compatible supported operating systems, and we're really focused more on Windows Server operating systems, but we're gonna put up some of the other options as well. We're gonna show you how to download the ISO file, and we're gonna put that in the description section as well. We're gonna show you how to create a bootable USB because you're gonna need to put your ISO file onto the bootable USB, and then we are going to show you how to download and install Windows Server 2022 and we're gonna do step-by-step -step instructions so let's get into the fun stuff so let's start with the supported operating system so you're gonna have Windows Server 2019 and 2022 and again we're gonna show you how to install 2022 in this video in just a few moments and then there's some other options with VMware ESXi 8.0 which I know a lot of people are not happy with VMware right now there's a uh, Red Hat there's Ubuntu there's a bunch of uh, a great operating solutions out there. And if uh, there's an operating system that you personally like uh, that you're using that's not on this list, hey, drop a comment down below. I'm sure the other users would love to hear it. All right, let's show you how to uh, get the ISO file downloaded and show you how to create the bootable USB. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to install Windows Server 2022 locally onto your server. All you're gonna need is a server with enough storage space available for the installation. You can do this with an external USB drive. You can do this with an M.2 SSD plugged in through an adapter, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the back plane. You can do this a number of different ways. Uh, this process does not require an active network connection on the server. All right, first thing you're gonna do is go to the Microsoft link that you see listed here and we're gonna download the English 64-bit edition ISO file. All right, so now we need to create a bootable USB. We are gonna use a program called Rufus. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus, download the program, and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on, and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the Windows Server 2022 installation USB drive. The first thing you wanna do is plug in your bootable USB to the server. Turn your server on. During the booting process, press F11 to access the boot menu. In the one-time boot menu, please scroll down to select your bootable USB and press enter. In this case, we will select our USB, which is the rear USB 2 USB disk 3.0. This will launch the Windows Server 2022 installation. So now on the Microsoft Server OS setup, we're gonna choose the language and keyboard layout and click next and install now. Now we will choose Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation desktop experience. You can choose a different one if you want, but this is what we will be doing in this video. Now click next. We'll accept the terms and conditions and click next. After this, we're going to choose custom install Microsoft server operating system only. On the where do you want to install the operating system page, we will highlight and delete each partition on our hard drive to have a fresh installation and utilize the entire disk. Click next. The installation process will start and it will take some time, so do note that it will take a little bit of time. And after the installation is completed, you're gonna remove your bootable USB and let the server restart. Now the server will restart normally and it should boot to Windows automatically. On the Customize Settings page, type down your password and click Finish. This will bring you to the Windows Server Login page. Press Control-Alt-Delete enter your password and press enter. This will bring you to your Windows desktop. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Windows Server 2022 onto your ProLiant Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built new or used HPE Dell 
Cisco, Supermicro, IBM. We would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.